fermented foods have been a trend now for some time, and we know the gut benefits. Your stomach loves them. So Randy is preparing the ever-popular kimchi, which is having a moment. Kimchi is having a moment. So you can actually make your own kimchi. It's really quite easy. Um, well, first you... tell them what they are. Do, do you all know what kimchi is? It's what fermented it? cabbage. It's fermented cabbage. It's delicious, spicy, so budget friendly. Delicious. And if, a, if an Irishman can make it, you can make it too. <laughs> I agree. It's a three day process. The recipe is super, super easy. I was actually surprised. Right. Um, and it turned out really, really well. It's kind of fun. Okay, so how do you make it? And it's a nice condiment. So, you know, when you bust it out, you'd be like, oh, this is delicious. You'd be like, I freaking made that. I made it. I freaking made that. It wasn't that hard. Know? Saw it on City Line. Okay, <laughs> we're going to start with some Napa. Um, which is typically the, the proper cabbage to use. And then it kind of goes differently from there. You can put carrots, you can put daikon in, you don't have to, Okay. right? And then you can put some green onions in as well. Um, crunchy things. Crunchy things, you want a little bit of color too. I was gonna put some potatoes in because my heritage, but oh. it turns out that was really wrong. Oh. <laughs> that was really wrong. I wanted to, but you know, if you're making it home, try it, I don't know, I don't know how it goes. I'm gonna say bad. <laughs> yeah, maybe, that's fine. We stuck to the, we stuck to the classics. So now the secret ingredient today is kosher salt, okay. and I'm gonna just lightly. No. Yeah. A yeah. lot. Yeah. 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 Like it's a freaking yeah. sidewalk. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm gonna fall on this. Okay. Hit it really hard. And yeah, I know everyone's freaking. Oh, they're freaking out now. But it's okay because we're gonna add a ton of water. Okay. That's gonna water down. Oh. So almost like brining a turkey. That's so what we're doing here. the salt is key to any fermentation, the am I right? The salt is absolutely key. Because it's pickled. It's basically, it's pickled, right, when it's when it's done? Exactly. And then what, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to push that down. Okay. And then you just put the leftover daikon on top, and that's going to weight it down, and that's going to make sure the water submerges everything. Perfect. And you leave that out overnight, 8, 10 hours, that kind of thing. Okay. The next day, time. The next day, yeah, not that long. It's going to take a lot longer. Okay. We're going to get to that. Should I be wearing these? Totally. Because they're so cute. <laughs> Somebody's got to do some work here. Okay. Crazy. The next day, you strain the water, but make sure you hold on to it because you're going to need that. Okay. And you might see, like, the cabbage is nice and wilted and stuff, but it's really not too salty. Okay. It's really quite delicious. Okay. All right. So here comes the seasoning. Are you ready? Yeah. This is the main ingredient. Go what is that? Go to Chang. Go to Chang. Go to Chang. Chang. That was close. Okay. Go Go to Chang. I'm proud Fermented of you. Fermented bean, chili bean paste. Uh, okay. All right. And, and then, are you going to find this traditionally in all in, in most kimchi? You can find this. Yes. It's you the are. main ingredient. It's the ketchup of Korea, actually. It's oh. the ketchup. Almost okay. in everything. Oh, there okay, we go. good. Oh, wow. Let's see. Yeah. I didn't read that. And what's that? Um, that is miso, right? A little yeah. bit of garlic, a mm -hmm. little bit of ginger. Nice. These are all traditionals. Yeah. And then a little bit and of fish sauce. Really? Uh-huh. Fish sauce. Yeah. Now, yeah. Tracy, <laughs> this is where you get in there. This is okay. the fun part. You know, at least you brought me the gloves today. Gloves. If you don't have gloves it. at home, get your kids to do this. Just make what they'll do for seven dollars with the Xbox money. <laughs> right. I'll get you your seven dollars with the Xbox money, Tracy. No problem at all. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we're going to jam this into a jar really, really tight, but okay. we're not going to put the lid on. And we're just going to let it sit on the counter for three days, and it's going to bubble, and it's going to ferment, and we're going to hit it with like a chopstick or something, just get the air out. Yeah. And then after that, you can seal it up and refrigerate, and you're good to go. This yeah. smells so good. So you're going to work away on that. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is the boys are going to make a recipe. Okay. And I thought it'd be fun if they made an omelet. Oh, mm. boy. brought oh some boy. king crab Here and some go. kimchi, right? I like it. And... You, this kind of condiment can go almost anywhere. You, I've seen kimchi fries now because it's trending. Yeah. You see it in sandwiches. You see it in fried rice. But an omelet, an omelet, I don't know if you know this, is a true test of a cook. Is it? It's a true test. Not it's an it's electric so burner. <laughs> no? <laughs> because it, a lot of chefs will actually tell that when somebody comes in for an interview, they'll be like, yep. go to the kitchen, make me an omelet. If they can't make an omelet, they can't get a job. Okay. So, guys, I don't mean to put That's the pressure on. That's why I never get hired. <laughs> Sorry. That's why I never get hired. <laughs> Let's see how you do with the omelet oh making. Oh boy, I'm still waiting for it to get hot. Uh, well, I think this is sabotage, Jason. Jason. I don't know what you're talking about. about that, Trev. I don't yeah. know sabotage. what happened there. Just try and sabotage Jason. I just turned, right. I turned your burner off about 10 minutes. I think there that's you what go. happened. And you see what Jay's doing. He's taking the cooked egg and he's kind of moving it around. He's going to kind of do that right until the end, and then he's going to stop and let it kind of all congeal at the same time. What we're looking for. I'm so glad you were saying that because I didn't want to do next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching you. What we're actually looking for is a perfectly cooked omelet with the kimchi inside. 
side and we want them to turn it upside down and have zero color. Oh, okay, I was hoping so you wouldn't say that. Here's what I want to know. Why does Jay have to do that? Why do they have to do it like that? Why can't you just throw the egg into the pan and let it do yeah, what brown, it's going to do naturally? Because the brown's really brown, quick, yeah. and that's not good. Why, so what? An omelet is not supposed to be brown? An omelet? No. <laughs> no. Never mind then. That's Continue. what I said when they wouldn't hire me. Like, well, come on, it's going to be brown. It's supposed to be brown. Who's that? Some... Do you want me to put that in there? Can you do that? Yes, Let's yes, do I can do that. I see your gloves kind of busted. You look like a kid at recess and his mittens. Look at that. Did you really try to make that? No, I did not. Sorry, I'm going to try not to get any on you. And the beautiful thing about the kimchi is it is really, really affordable. Like this whole Napa, I think it's 59 cents a pound. It's like three pounds. It'll make you like six different jars. Yeah. Right? And so you'll have the gift that keeps on giving. You can give it away to your friends. You know, if it turns out really you well, you might not want to. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't turn out well, then you can definitely give it away. It's a great it's gift. It's good for the whole family. I think that when we look at uh, produce prices these days, food is expensive. So people need to start finding yeah. recipes that are low budget um, and good for you, feeds and nourishes you, but isn't necessarily breaking the bank. And I think that's why a lot of people are moving away from meat. So but you can add a lot of filler to kimchi, not just cabbage, right? You can amp up you the carrots if you want. There. Yeah. Yeah. You can add more daikon if you, you want. Add more daikon. Yeah. You can add more daikon. Make them crunchy. Apples in there if you want. I've heard apples and I heard apple cider yeah. vinegar as well, which yeah. is kind of cool. Ooh, so I, you were saying so, apples and pears, yeah. Trev. Yes. So when we used to make our kimchi for uh, our, our tacos, we used to put kimchi in our tacos. Yeah. Uh, that's we used cool. to put in when it was seasoned Asian pears and, uh, and Asian apples as well. I love it. I love the sweetness to it. Okay. Sorry. Go back back to you, Randy. So what I was doing once you just packed it full, you just take that brine. Remember the salty brine, mm -hmm. and you put it right back in. You want to pack it right down. Just leave that in your counter. It's going to start to bubble. Okay. It's going to do its thing, and you want that fermentation because that fermentation is what your stomach loves. And so you're not going to put the uh, lid on it. I'm just going to like so the like you know the kids don't steal it or something mm -hmm. like that. I'm just going to put it on kind of sideways like that. But you're not like trying to have breathe. it sealed. You don't want it sealed. You want no. to breathe. You want to ferment. So like two or three days as it bubbles and away it goes. Mm. And that's the natural gut health. That's what's really going to help you out. That's better than yogurt. Mm -hmm. Four times better than yogurt. It's better than apple cider okay. vinegar. It's fantastic. It Let's do this. We, guys, so how's it going with the omelets? Because, yeah. Yeah. ooh, a little bit of crab in there. I already got fired, so. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, I got color. I got color. See? I got color. It's not bad, though, right? So is that no? Is that considered no color? Oh, oh, oh. We're going to see here. It looks very blonde. It's, nice. it's great being at this end of the table and judging, isn't right? it? Right? Yes, it is. Yeah, well, it's a lot easier. I thought I heard scrambled eggs. Look at that. Do we give I, it up for Jay? I got color. I think we give I it up for Jay. I think it looks Jay. pretty good. All right. Take a look at that. Perfect. It's a perfect omelet. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's all in the heat. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's beautiful. you're still working on yours. You know, I was talking to the audience earlier, and uh, a lot of them had not tried kimchi. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a live taste Hello. test. Leah, Ooh. come on in here. Leah. Leah. You've never tried it. No. Do you find that you're big on experimenting with new foods? Just be honest. Now I am. Now. Before okay. I had my husband, never. Never. No. Okay. No. So we have some for you right here. Okay. Um, go for it. And I want to see what you think. Oh, that's a big bite, Tracy. I know, I'm sorry. Really I'm sorry. That one up. Yeah, I did. But it's like two pieces that's together. Perfect. There we that's go. Good. Perfect. That's good. That's good. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see what she thinks. Yeah. First bite of kimchi. Mm. Oh. oh. It's oh. so different, but it's really good. Okay, and how would you describe the taste for those who have it? It really never doesn't it? taste like cabbage, though. Yeah, yeah. so that's a good thing for a lot of people. Because <laughs> I don't love cabbage. Spicy. Um, Oh, you don't love cabbage and does it taste like Vinegary, cabbage? maybe. Vinegary? Yeah. yeah. Spicy and vinegary. Mm -hmm. Now, would you try it again? Yes, on an omelet. Wicked crab. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 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 